this is Eric Teitelman for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. We're going to continue our teaching on the one new man, and I'd like to start this week with the foundation, which is Abraham. In Genesis chapter 12, verse, uh, chapter 12, verse 2, the Lord says, I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. We know this great nation is the nation of Israel. And the Lord also says in Exodus chapter 4, verse 22, He says, Israel is my son and my firstborn. If God has a firstborn, we know that He has many children amongst the nations. In Genesis chapter 17, verse 5, we see the narrative of this story expanded, where God changes Av Avram's name, Abram, to Ab Abraham, or Avraham. And He says, that your name shall be called Abraham, for I have made you the father of many nations. And this promise was also given to Sarah, Abraham's wife, and her name was changed from Sarai to Sarah. God continued this promise in Genesis chapter 35, verse 11, when he spoke to Jacob and he said that a nation, which is Israel, and a company of nations, which are the Gentiles, shall proceed from you, and kings shall come from your body. You see, God's plan of redemption was not just for Israel, but was for the whole world. It was for all of the nations. The Apostle Paul talks about this in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 6. He says that the Gentiles would become fellow heirs, fellow heirs of the same body, and partakers of his promise of Christ through the gospel. The nations are not replacing Israel, but they have joined Israel as one people of God, one new man comprised of every nation, tribe, and tongue. And that's the truth.